Hello friends. Welcome to measurements of length. You need me to measure small lengths in centimeters or cm. And you need me to measure larger lengths in meters or m. If you need to know the distance in kilometers or km, you would have to look for signs like me by the side of the road when you travel from place to place. It's so easy. When we are being measured for clothes, our measurements are taken in centimeters by the tailor. When we buy fabric, it is measured in meters. Long distances are measured in kilometers. Take a look at this meter scale. It has centimeter markings from 0 to 100. That means 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. Can you find out which of these is measured in centimeters and which in meters? This is the model of Jeddah Tar that is under construction in Saudi Arabia. When it is ready, the tower will stand at a height of 1000 meters, which is 1 kilometer. Did you know that this will be the tallest building in the world? At present, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the tallest building with a height of 828 meters. Do you know the distance from your home to school? Do you measure the distance in meters or kilometers? Yes, kilometers. What is the height of your room? Do you measure the height in meters or kilometers? The height of an average room is about 2.5 meters. Let us get into adding lengths. When we add lengths, we must use placeholders. The placeholders are meters and centimeters. A building was 15 meters, 24 centimeters high. A flagpole of height 1 meter, 48 centimeters was placed on top of it. What was the height from the ground floor of the building to the top of the flagpole? Here we have to perform addition. Adding 15 meters, 24 centimeters and 1 meter, 48 centimeters. We get 16 meters, 72 centimeters. The total height of the building and flagpole is 16 meters, 72 centimeters. Now, when we add distances, what placeholders will we use? Yes, kilometers and meters. Number Nut travelled from Bengaluru to Chennai by train. The distance was 341 kilometers 575 meters. He then took a bus and traveled 171 kilometers 385 meters by bus from Chennai to Puducherry. What is the total distance he traveled? Here again, we have to perform addition, adding 341 kilometers 575 meters and 171 kilometers 385 meters, we get 512 kilometers 960 meters. The total distance he traveled is 512 kilometers 960 meters. Now, let us welcome the measurements of mass. I am a scale used for light objects whose mass is measured in grams or g. I am a scale used for heavy objects whose mass is measured in kilograms or kg.
Can you find out which of these are measured in gram and which in kilogram? When we add weights, we use the placeholders kilogram and gram. An elevator can carry a maximum of 100 kilograms. A man weighing 84 kilograms, 450 grams, gets into the elevator. A lady weighing 55 kilograms, 355 grams, would like to know if it is safe for her to ride the elevator with him. Add their weights and decide for her. Adding 84 kilograms, 450 grams and 55 kilograms, 355 grams, we get 139 kilograms, 805 grams. Oh no! The total weight is 139 kilograms, 805 grams. This is more than 100 kilograms. The lady must not enter the elevator. And now, let us look at the measurements of capacity or volume. You need me to measure small capacities in milliliters or ml. You need me to measure large capacities in liters or L. Can you find out which of these has capacities in milliliters and which in liters? When we add capacities, we use the placeholders liters and milliliters. Jack and Jill wanted to serve orange juice at a birthday party. Jack brought 2 liters, 365 milliliters, and Jill brought 3 liters, 465 milliliters. How much orange juice did they have in all? Here, we have to perform addition. Adding 2 liters, 365 milliliters, and 3 liters, 465 milliliters, we get 5 liters, 830 milliliters. Yes, 5 liters and 830 milliliters. You are now masters of measures. Hello, Daisy and Katie. What happened? Why my girls look so worried today? We were measuring the length of this floor. And Katie says it is 35 foot spans, while I found it to be 38 foot spans. How come they are different? Look, foot span is a non standard unit of measurement, which means measuring the same length with different foot spans will give us different answers. In earlier times, we used measures like hand span, foot span and other non-standard unit of measures. But now, we use a standard unit of measurement called the metric system, which uses the three basic units, which are meter for measuring length, gram for measuring weight and liter for measuring capacity. Oh, then we must have measured the length in meters. Yes, girls. Ma, can I also measure the distance between our house and school in meters? You can, Katie. But meter is not a preferred unit to express a long distance. For longer distances, we use measures which are formed by adding the prefixes like kilo, hecto, deca to the basic unit. And for shorter distances, we use prefixes like deci, centi and milli to the basic unit. 
And these prefixes are multiples of 10. Kilo means 1000. Hecto means 100. Deca means 10. Deci means 1 tenth. Centi means 1 hundredth. And milli means 1 thousandth. Hence, kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Hectometer is 100 meters. And similarly, the values of the other measures can be seen on the table. Likewise, we can have similar tables for measuring mass and capacity by just changing the base unit to gram and liter. Ma, how do I remember this? Hmm, well, Katie always helps you baking chocolate muffins, right? Right, Ma. So, let's make a sentence saying, Katie helps Daisy baking delicious chocolate muffins. This simple sentence will help us remember the order of units. Now, why don't you help me remember the metric units using the first letter of each word in the sentence? K here stands for kilo, H for hecto, D for deca. B is the base unit and for distance, it is meter. For mass, it's gram and for capacity, it's liter. Then we have deci, centi and milli. Very good girls. It is so easy to remember these units now. Now let me tell you how to convert metric units. Let's say Daisy's weight is 25 kilograms. Now let's convert 25 kilograms to decigrams. For that, let's recall the simple sentence to remember the order of units and let's draw steps for each word. Katie helps Daisy baking delicious chocolate muffins. You know, the metric system of measurement is based on the multiples of 10. Each time you move downwards, you multiply by 10 and each time you move upwards, you divide by 10. Since we need to convert kilogram to decigram, we need to move 4 steps downwards. So we multiply 25 kilograms by 10 four times to get decigrams. So Daisy, your weight is 2,50,000 decigrams. That sounds so heavy, Daisy, though it weighs the same. Similarly, we can convert smaller units to bigger units. How about converting 2 liters to hectoliters? Let me try, Ma. To convert liter into hectoliter, we move two steps upwards. And as you told us, each time we move upwards, we divide by 10. So we will divide 2 by 10 twice. That's wonderful, Katie. Learning metric system was fun. All we have to remember is Katie, Katie helps Daisy baking delicious chocolate muffins. muffins.